school year. What classes do we need? That's all I have. You want to go now? Now, 30 minutes. I, I'm sorry, are you asking if we were to not go to Ferndale, what classes what do classes we need? need to stay here? What four, classes? four classes or five classes? Actually, it's, be it's more than that. For a student to have a diploma, they have to have all the classes that are required in a graduation requirement. Science, so, math, English, history. Right, and so what we would have is four to five teachers who would need to teach not just science, math, history, social studies, and but health and fine arts and PE and CTE as well. And so when we start taking all the graduation requirements and we tell four to five teachers in the fall, some of whom are not credited to teach in some of those areas, <coughs> a lot of teachers have a single endorsement that they need to be able to teach everything, it's overwhelming to be able to make the schedule work, to have a staff that could do it, it's overwhelming. And I gotta tell you, if we could do it, we would. It's not that we don't want to. The reality I, I, is, we're in a budget cut cycle. We cannot afford in our district to do some of the things we've done in the way that we've done them. Wait, so our goal, one of the challenges with Windward, and, and one of the challenges, schools have to be able to pay for themselves. And how we pay for schools is by the number of students. You know, we talked about dollars follow students. And so for a high school, it's more challenging than maybe for an elementary. Because in elementary, you don't have to have the wide spectrum of courses that you need for your graduation requirement. But Why for high school, you, you have to I have a little bit. Like it's a firm They've got so many different options there, and I'm sure none of those are. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear your question. Wait, just a second, we finish, and then we'll come and you can say your whole question, okay? So if we're going to have a school where you're going to give your student everything they need to get into college, meet all the requirements they need for college, then usually it takes more than four teachers. Could we do it with four? We could if we had a team of teachers who had at least a year to be able to plan. We could figure out how we're going to do this because it's an unusual way of doing things. There are very few models that do it like that, but it could be done. And then we're talking about putting that together in just a couple of months. Okay, let's see. Go ahead. I understand the need but uh, saying you're going to go here or there, don't you think they're rolling down because of that? Because the uh, parents yeah. don't know where they're going to Yeah, I do, I do. And you say you're looking to the future when you want to grow up to two or three hundred uh, more students. You can do that at Ferndale. They already went away from Ferndale to make, you know, it's too crowded there already. So I don't know how you could grow it over there and then move it again here. It should be looking towards the future and say, hey, we're going to stick it out here and try, you know, uh, another area other than the high school. Um, <laughs> If you're running for a lot of we probably would to do this. Um, uh, but I think we, I th actually think we can find, they might not be the exact same students, but I think we can find the kids who want to be part of something different. Yes? You had mentioned something earlier about doing online classes. Why can't they do some of the courses they want to do online and do the rest of them in the school? They probably can, but we need some planning on people. Well, you have forecasters in place and you have people that are in place that knew our budget for we knew our budget was short. We didn't know that the enrollment here was going to be. We're fine. It's we're yes. together and they can have community gatherings 
and they can get it to happen for next year. Right now, the, the time, as they said, everything is a big bureaucracy and they have to get the schedules in. There's not much they can do about it at this point. If we can work together, and I'll do my best, I know that they will do their best to keep your kids safe on campus. Don't give up on Windward if you don't, and if the kids don't, it will be there next year. And if she, if Ms. Quinn says that it's going to happen, if we can get the enrollment up, then I think it will happen. Do I want my daughter's senior year to be at the Ferndale High School? Not necessarily, but that's what's going to happen. And I don't think there's a whole lot that, what they're saying, there's a whole lot that anyone can do about it. So what we need to be looking at is forward and seeing what we can do to make it the best. And I hope that, that we can all work together for that because this is a special place. And the kids are what make it special. The teachers are what make it special. Who haven't we have heard from yet? Okay, thanks. Um, can you talk louder? Okay. I would just like to say, uh, sort of going back to the safety issue. Um, get up, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Stand up. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like since my freshman year, when I decided to come here, um, like like the eighth grader back there, sorry, I don't know your name. Um, <laughs> I came here because of the opportunity that we had, and um, because of the small community. And I um, left all of my friends to come to this school, and that was the decision I made for my education. And um, it was a hard decision, but it was the best decision I've ever made um, in my life. And this school is second home to me. I stay out there with Miss Murphy like three days a week until six o'clock at night working on our school yearbook. And um, next year, who knows if we're gonna have a yearbook. And I mean, that's just a personal thing that's really important to me, but um, I've known Joy for a really long time, and she has second a point. Grade, yeah, second grade. Um, <laughs> Um, I have seen our school grow as a size, and I've seen it go down in size, and I've seen our school grow together. And I know that um, for all of you parents that are worried about safety issues, like Garrett said, um, I totally understand. I totally understand where you are coming from, and I understand where all of your parents are coming from, and I understand where all the students are coming from. But like Joy said, the only thing that we can do right now as far as I'm concerned, is move forward. But I promise you that our school can make it through anything as far as the students and the teachers go. We, we lost two students this summer, and we all made it through that together. Um, we've lost teachers, and we all made that through that together. And we've, we've lost and gained so much in the past, just the three years that I've been here. And there's been a lot of instability. And it's been scary for a high school student to have to go through that as far as like our community goes and our school goes. But as a student, I, I promise, and I know that, I don't know, all the students that are crying in here right now aren't crying for no reason. That's dedication. This is school we're talking about. This isn't like, I don't know, what most normal high school students are dedicated to. <laughs> so just to put a positive note in there, I know that with our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful teachers that we have and our wonderful students and just the sense of family and community that we have that we will make it through this. And I just ask that regardless of what does happen to our school, that the parents will be supportive of it because we can't go through with anything without your support. And I'm really glad that you're all here. Um, I know that everything here is in love with the school. Everyone, you look around and you see how much time and effort and love with the school. That means you cannot know. We all make up our hands. And I know that everyone in this world has such a passion for the school. I have never, I don't think I've ever met a friend else that has as much passion for the school as a kid here does. I mean, 
I don't think that any that Brunel would go to a meeting after school after they've been there all day to fight for the